This is my client Vea, and today is her prom. So Vea wants to be natural, dewy, and bronzy, and still done up, but still on the natural side, if that makes sense. Before any foundation application, I always make sure that my client is very moisturized. This is the Charlotte Tilbury face oil. It's infused with collagen, so it'll make her face really nice and plump. For her brows, I'm using the color Blonde from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I always use a powder. It's just a little bit more natural. She had a good amount of hair, but it was a little bit more on the sparse side and very fair, so I filled those in a good amount just so that they pop in pictures. Before I put on any eyeshadow, I add concealer and setting powder. For her eyes, I'm doing one of my most favorite looks. It's just bronzer. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in the shade Medium, and I am taking that and Woodwinked from MAC and just putting that all over her eye. Then I'm curling her lashes, and I'm also going to curl the false lashes. These are the Ardell Demi Wispies, and I just give them one little pump, but it gives a really nice curl, and you can notice them a bit more if you do curl your false lashes. This is a trick I learned from TikTok, and I cannot go back now. So while her eyelashes are drying, I am going to mix up my foundation. I'm using about half and half, half NC30 and half NC13. She has a spray tan, so this is a beautiful combination and it matches her perfectly. I'm making sure that I'm getting right in around her ears and neck as well because she has an updo and sometimes it just misses the spray tan right there. And I'm just bringing that all the way down her neck. So with her foundation, I made sure I didn't put any underneath her eyes. I am just using concealer. This is the shade Almond from Too Faced, and this is the Born This Way concealer. So I'm blending out her concealer with the 71 brush from Sephora, and then I'm taking my foundation brush and just going back over top of that concealer, pushing it right into the skin. This way it's gonna look a lot more natural. And I recommend that you always set your under eyes. Under her eyes is the same color that I put on top. This is Woodwinked from MAC. This is the new Beautiful Skin Bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury, and I don't have anything like this in my kit. It's sheer and buildable, but it gives the most beautiful bronze color to your skin. I highly recommend trying this one. I'm using the shade Medium. Because she has a spray tan, it makes it a lot easier to play up the bronzer and give her that really sun-kissed look that she's wanting to achieve. I mean, it speaks for itself. You can see how beautiful this looks on her skin. She's got some cute little moles, so I'm just going over with a Q-tip and making sure that they're not covered with any foundation because they're part of her. This is the Creamy Peach Blush from Makeup by Mario, one of my favorite blushes to use right now. Then we gotta make her skin glow. I'm using my Dior palette, the 001 Highlighting Palette, putting that on her nose, underneath her brow bone, her tear duct, and the high points of her face. I wanted to keep her lips pretty natural, so I'm using the Makeup by Mario Lip Liner in Tan, and then I just put a little bit of lip gloss over top, and really blended that lip liner into the lip gloss so it will look a lot more natural. I'm really loving a lip liner and gloss moment, but always making sure that it's not too harsh and just a little bit more beachy. So Vea didn't want any changes, she absolutely loved the way she looked. That was her before, and this is her after. She just looks like an Australian beach goddess? Is that a thing? 